What's up guys? I'm Steve and welcome to my world. Today we are putting together the last of our holiday brickheads. This is number six, the Easter Bunny. This is 126 pieces, recommended for ages 10 and over. And there are all the other ones you can get, which we have done them all. We have the Halloween Witch. Pretty cool. We have a Thanksgiving turkey. Another really, really cool one. We have, of course, Santa Claus, Mr. Claus. So, focusing issues already on the box, which usually happens. There we go. So we have Mr. Claus. And we have Mrs. Claus. Ooh, what dropped Mrs. Claus? We don't want to do that. Everybody knows Mrs. Claus runs the North Pole. And then finally, we have our Valentine's Day beat. So, those are all the ones that we put together so far. Today, we're going to put together the Easter Bunny, our sixth and final one of the holidays. So, let's get him open here. Close this back up. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So we are going to open up the bags of pieces, pour them all out, open up the other bag, pour all the pieces out. We're going to move some of the bigger pieces that I know are for the stand in the back. We're also going to move the box out of the way because like you saw a minute ago, it causes focusing issues. With all Legos, we get our quality uh, instruction guide that tells us step-by-step -step instructions of how to build the Easter Bunny. Okay, we're gonna turn the camera down just a little bit. There you go, so you can see what we're working with. All right, let's get started and build our Easter Bunny. So we're gonna take a 16-piece gray, and we're gonna put a two-piece gray that has this hole in the middle of it. So it's just a regular two-piece gray, hole all the way through it, okay? That's gonna go in the back like that. Uh, these are dark gray pieces by the way. So we'll just call, I'm going to be calling them gray, I'll call the other ones light gray. Next we're going to take a thick two piece gray, or one piece gray, stick it right there, and put another one on the other side, just like this. Then we're going to put some two piece grays, one in here like this, and one in here like that. Then we're going to put two more of these thick one piece grays one up here in the front like that and where are you it wasn't in the same bag with the rest of them hello all right i know it's here somebody needs to shout it out because i don't see it spread these out a little more oh there it is found it all right that was rough Okay, there we go. All right, next up, we're gonna take two of these light gray pieces, which are typical uh, brickhead pieces. They're thick two pieces with four pegs on the sides. We're gonna put them in the centers over here on the sides. That is so that we can hook stuff to them. So make sure that the pegs are on the outside. We're gonna put another one on the other side, just like this. Okay, so we have that. Next up, we're gonna take a thick four piece, uh, not that one. There it is. A thick four piece gray, put it across the back just like that. And then we're gonna take two thick two piece white ones that look like this. We're gonna stick them in the back inside here like this. And the other one on top of it in there just like that. Okay, up next, we're gonna take, put that down for just a second. We're gonna grab a four piece white block we're gonna put another four piece white block right on top of it. And then we got this special piece here. It's a curved white piece with two pegs in it. Okay, so we are going to take and we're gonna stick that in here just like that as well. And then we're gonna take the whole thing and stick it in here on top of that, just like that. Next up, we're gonna take this little bitty pink white disc. We're gonna put it in the middle on that back one, so it's gonna put a nice, even, smooth surface there. And then we're going to take and add this curved gray piece that looks like this over the top of all this white 
just like that. So we're gonna form his little belly right there. All right, next up, we're going to take a take an eight piece gray, put it across the back just like this. Then we're gonna take a light gray piece that looks like this. So it's a little stepped up piece, got two layers here with two pegs off the side. I'm gonna turn those pegs to the front, stick it in here just like that, okay? Then we're gonna take two gray pieces and put them on either side, two, a two piece gray, put it on either side. One there and one there. All right, up next, we're going to take and build his arms. So we're gonna take a, uh, where are you? A light gray four piece, okay? And we're gonna take a smooth dark gray two piece, put it across one side like this, and then we're gonna take a white two piece block with a hook, just like that, and we're gonna put it in here like this. Okay, we're gonna do that again. So light gray four piece, two piece smooth dark gray, followed by a two piece white with um, a hook. Then we're gonna put those with the hooks both pointing down. So those will be the Easter Bunny's hands. Cool. Okay, up next, we're going to take and add a two piece pink block, or, and put it right on the top of the front of this gray, like that, followed by this two piece beige with, it's a two piece thick one with two pegs coming off the side. We're gonna put it right there just like that. Then we're gonna line the outside here with those gray, light gray pieces, those thick two piece with the four blocks. We're gonna put two on each side and one in the center in the back. So just like this, this, one there, there, and there. So this is what we have so far. Okay, and then we're going to make some filler material. So we're going to take these thick four piece beige blocks, put them together. Then we're going to take a circular thin green disc. We're going to put it on top like that. And then we're going to take a thick four piece pink block, just like that. And we're going to take and shove that down inside all the way down and squeeze. Okay, now we're going to put another layer of these light gray pieces all the way around. This time, we're gonna start in the back and put two in the back, one down each side and then two on the front. So, and remember all the pegs go, the pegs from the side always go to the outside. Gives us something to fasten all the dimensional stuff to. So there is what we have for the Easter Bunny so far. Okay, up next we're gonna take a 16 piece gray and put it on top like that. And then we're gonna take an eight piece gray and put it on the front just like this, followed by two L-shaped grays, one like that, and the other one, there it is, like this, okay? Then what we're gonna do is take two um, white piece, if I can find them, there they are. So they're like flat on one side and they're curved on the other. They're gonna form his teeth, basically. So we're gonna put one in here like this, with his tooth like that. And the other one we're gonna go put right next to it like this. So there are gonna be his teeth, okay? All right, next up. We're gonna take and add a white piece four piece across the bottom just like this. Then we're gonna add two one piece grays on the, each side, like this and like this. We're gonna put a light gray triangle piece. Uh, right there it is. Looks like this, okay? With, it's two pieces wide though. So we're gonna stick it in here like this. There we go. And then we're gonna take a smooth eight piece gray across his forehead, like that. All right, up next, we're going to take and add a gray piece that looks like, it's a light gray piece. It's, oh, it's smooth, it's got one peg right in the center of it. And we're gonna stick it right in the middle of his, underneath that triangle piece right there, okay? Then we're gonna take and add 
a little pink disc for his nose right on top of it. Maybe. And then we're gonna add his eyes and like all brick heads except for one that I've done so far. All the eyes have big square, little square. Big square goes upper left, little square goes bottom right. Make sure you line them up the best you can before you push them down. They are a little harder to turn once they're on. So try to get them lined up where you kind of want them before you push. And there are the Easter Bunny's eyes. All right, so next up, we're going to do three of the same steps. So we're gonna form the, the two sides in the back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these eight pieces and we're gonna take four each of these curved um, stepped up pieces that have, they're too wide. Okay, and what we're gonna do is, oops, gotta get the camera to focus first. We're going to put them on all four sides like this. So we're gonna put one there and one there, and then flip it around and put one there and one there so that we have this big curved piece that looks like this. Okay, we do that two more times. So do this there and there, flip it around, put it there and there and then one more time there there flip it around there and there all right now we're gonna take all of those and we're gonna fasten to each the two sides in the back so we're gonna put one there flip it around here put one there flip it over again put one in there like that okay Next up, we're going to take on the back side, we're gonna take this little tube, looks like this, it's hard to see. We're gonna stick it in the back here in that hole, and then we're gonna to add to it a little cotton ball, white ball for his tail, just like that, and there's his tail. Now we're gonna flip the Easter Bunny upside down. We're gonna take a six, or an eight-piece gray, stick it across the middle, just like this. Then, we're gonna take and add a, a two-piece gray to each end, one there and one there. And we're gonna put another two-piece gray on each of those. So one there and one there. And then we're gonna add a two-piece white to each of those. So one there and one there. All right, flip him all the way back over. We're gonna take two of these light gray pieces that look like this. They got one peg and then a hook on them. We're gonna make sure the hook is towards the outside so we're gonna put those on the second row in from the back. So one there and one there. Then we're gonna take a gray triangular piece, looks like this, and it's too wide. We're gonna put that in the middle in the back, just like that. Okay, up next, we're gonna take and add another one of these stepped curve pieces. They're too wide, right here across the front, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna build some ears. So we're gonna put this down for a minute. We're gonna do this two times. So we're gonna take and uh, take a three-piece gray. Then we're gonna put a two-piece gray on it with this little rod extension off to the side here. So we're gonna put it on just like that. Okay. Then we're gonna take and add a. Let's see here. We're gonna add a two-piece pink one off the other end, like that. Then we're gonna put a two-piece gray underneath that. So we're getting some big ears out here. And then we're gonna turn around and take this piece that looks like this on the end. So it's a big, large curved piece with a little ledge sticking off the end of it, okay? Let's see if we can get it to focus a little better. There we go. And we're gonna stick that right here on the end like this. Um, nope, I lied. We're gonna put another two-piece pink on first. Then we're gonna put it on top there like this. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna turn around and take one of these pieces that looks like this. It's a curved piece with a couple steps in it. And we're gonna put them in just like that. So there's one of his ears. Okay, now we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna take a three piece and this two piece with the rod, stick it in there. Okay, then we're gonna take a two piece pink on top of it, a two piece gray under it. And we're gonna take a two piece pink and put it on top of the other pink one. Take this curved gray piece with the ledge, put it in there, and then we're gonna take this big triple step gray piece, put it in there, oops, just like this. Okay, now we're gonna take and add them into here. So we're gonna put one in here like 
this. And then we're going to put the other one in here like this. There are the Easter Bunny's ears. Okay, we're going to take a carrot. So we got this carrot piece that looks like this. We're going to add to it a little leaf or stem for the carrot, maybe. If we can get it in there. Well, that's a big stem. Okay, there's our carrot. We're going to take and stick that in his hand like that. And then we're going to take this uh, bucket, his little Easter basket, that's really cool. And we're just going to stick that in his other hand, maybe, maybe, like, <laughs> it doesn't want to go in. Oh, it's rubberized, so this one, this is, this piece is made of rubber, so it's harder, it doesn't actually spin. Okay, so there is his Easter basket. Next up, we're going to grab his stand from the back. We're gonna add to it this 10 piece black right in the front row, center it, oops, center it across it. Then we're gonna turn around and add the two green pieces, one like this and one like this. All right, next up we're gonna take and turn it upside down. We're gonna use these green circular discs, like look like this, and put them in the corners here to hold it all together. So one there. And one there. It also makes it level with this, so it's all going to sit nice and easy. We're going to take a two-piece gray and put it in each end of the black. So in there. And then one over on this side. So two-piece gray there and there. Then we're going to take and add a six-piece black across the front of this side here. So now we're all connected and we have a level surface. <clears throat> okay, next up. We're going to flip it over like this. We're going to take this piece here that has the Lego Brickheads identifier. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little better. There we go. So it has a Brickhead symbol plus the seasonal calendar. So I'm, I guess that's how they identify this as a Lego Brickhead plus a seasonal one. I'm going to put it in there just like that. Then we're going to add a smooth four piece above it. Looks like that. Then we're going to add another smooth four piece with one peg on each end. Looks like that. Followed by an eight piece smooth piece right there. All right, so we're gonna set this down just for a second so we can build up some Easter eggs. We're gonna take the purple egg and the blue to put them together to make an egg that looks like this. And they have it going in here like this. Then we're gonna take the green and the yellow, put them together, and they have it sitting in here just like this. And then we're gonna make some flowers. So we're gonna take one of these white pieces that has the petals then we're going to put on it a pink actual flower. Has a nice little flower there. And we're going to stick them. One of them's going to go in here like this. And then we're going to build a second one like this. And it's going to go over here on this side just like that. Then we're going to take our Easter bunny and we're going to put him right up in here just like that. All right, guys. There is our Easter Bunny. So, pretty cool. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in all of them, actually. So we're going to bring in Mama Spice Rack to show off all of our Lego Brickheads. So today we made, let's see if we can extend this a little bit. We made the Easter Bunny. Okay. We also have previously made the Halloween Witch. We've made the Thanksgiving Turkey. We made the Valentine's Bee. And then of course we have our Mr. Claus and our Mrs. Claus. So there they are guys. There is the holiday set of Lego Brickheads. What do you guys think about these things? If you would, please leave me a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Your support means everything to us. And as always, guys, have fun. Thanks for living in my world, and we will see you next time.